We have another East Coast lobster dispute. The fisheries minister has said moderate livelihood lobster fishing by Indigenous communities will follow existing DFO seasons, regulations and enforcement rules. But the Liberal MP for Sydney, Victoria has said this is wrong. And the minister's announcement is only for this year, it's an interim measure. And First Nations will be allowed to set their own seasons and rules. Are Liberals mistaking voters for lobsters heading to the traps and to the dinner tables? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, reconciliation is about recognizing rights uh, that are not to be granted by governments, but are recognized as have been decided uh, in many cases decades ago. Uh, we are working closely both with commercial fishermen and Mi'kmaq fishers uh, to ensure uh, that we're moving forward in a way that is both scientifically sustainable and respects the existing rights uh, that uh, Mi'kmaq have towards a moderate livelihood. We know uh, that there is a path forward and we look forward to continuing uh, to work in constructive ways uh, to resolve this challenge in the spirit of reconciliation and for a better future for everyone. The Honourable Member for New Brunswick Southwest. In fact, no one is disputing those rights at all. What we're questioning here are the various stories we're getting from this government. And I've discovered that the Fisheries Minister flip-flopped and admitted to CBC Radio that the Liberal government's lobster uh, announcement for fishing is, quote, a plan for this season or for this year, end quote. Well, 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 the lobster is out of the pot. But this is not what maritime Liberal MPs are telling voters down east. Would the PM like to confirm his government is not being straight with maritime fishing families? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, every step of the way we've worked uh, to respect people's rights, to respect people's livelihoods, uh, to move forward in a way uh, that ensures uh, a strong and growing economy with opportunities for everyone in the spirit of reconciliation. Uh, it is not an easy thing, Mr. Speaker, but it is an important thing, and that's why we are taking it seriously and working step by step to advance uh, in a way that is acceptable to everyone. We will continue to do the right work the right way to move this country forward. The Honourable Member for New Brunswick Southwest. Except the government and the Prime Minister's not being clear with Canadians. And it sounds like this is nothing but a pre-election campaign gimmick to protect Liberal candidates with a policy of deception to secure votes. And the, finish, and the Fisheries Minister's plan will change the day after the next election if this government is re-elected. Does voting Liberal Down East mean a vote to allow a separate Indigenous lobster fisheries? outside existing DFO seasons, regulations and enforcement rules. Can the Prime Minister confirm which message is correct? What the Fisheries Minister tells Ottawa or what the Fisheries Minister is telling voters down east? Hey, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we have been clear every step of the way, both about ongoing negotiations and also about our values, about our understanding of how important it is to move forward in true reconciliation in partnership with Indigenous peoples in ways that supports families that have been uh, fishing in that region uh, for generations. Uh, we know this is an extremely important issue. We're uh, going to continue those discussions and negotiations in good faith to make sure that we find the right solution for everyone, Indigenous fishers, commercial fishers, uh, and everyone who lives in the Atlantic provinces and indeed across the country.